Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to show you 7 new grid applications that have something unique in them which makes it very cool and fun to use. And if you are interested in this theme, do check out the theme playlist below. So without any further delay, let's get onto the apps. So the first app here is Zombies Run. Here in this app, you run away from zombies. Not like an endless runner game like Temple Run, but for real. So there is a great storyline where you are running away from zombies and the immersive storyline is split into missions. It requires you to run and reach a spot to save survivors and rebuild your base. The audio also makes you feel like zombies are following you. There is a narrative story throughout your run and you can also opt to play music in between. The main goal is not to get caught in the act. It uses your GPS and also shows detailed stats of each of your run. Overall, it's a really fun app and probably the best way if you want to run. The next app is Photo Pills. This app is worth a lot for anyone who wants to capture epic shots that involve sun, moon, stars, star trails and even long exposure shots. So the main idea here is to find a spot where you think it would be cool to have a sun in the frame. Well this app will let you know exactly when you can capture that shot with the sun in the place you want. You really need to use this app to fully appreciate it. The planner shows the location of the sun and the moon. And the augmented reality which uses the camera makes it easier to position. And there are many more tools which will help you to shoot stars, time lapse and many more cool shots. The academy section here has many tutorials which I will be watching soon and if this app interests you to watch it you will learn a lot and you will be able to capture much better pictures. Next up is MacDroid. It's a device automation app which is very simple to use. So there are three things that you need to know. Triggers, actions and constraints. So for any automation, there needs to be a trigger to automate the task. For example, it can be the Wi-Fi disconnect. So whenever your phone gets disconnected from any Wi-Fi, it will trigger an action. And here you can choose the action. For example, I can choose to turn my mobile data on. Constraints here are optional and it will prevent the action from happening. So here I can choose battery below 10%. So this automation task will switch to mobile data when it's disconnected from Wi-Fi only if the battery is above 10%. Similarly, you can cook up your own unique creative automation task. This template option here will help you find amazing pre-cooked automations like turning on and off flashlight by shaking your phone and a lot more. The next app here is custom navigation bar. So Android O has this feature which allows you to customize your navigation buttons and the navigation bar. Well, this app brings that feature to your current Android device. You do not need to have Android O installed. And inside the app, there are many options to customize the navigation bar and the changes are instant. You can invert the buttons. You also have the option to go fully immersive and hide both the navigation button and the notification bar. This provides more screen for your apps to use. And you also have option to add new button that can perform tasks that you want. You have several tasks to choose between. This button here currently is mapped to pull down the notification drawer, I can also map it to show up volume controls or even launch any other app. Overall, it's a great app but you do need to grant permissions to get it working. And this app also has a good tutorial to teach you how to get it working. The next app is Star Walk 2. This app helps you to identify what's above you in real time. So once you open this app, you get a view of stars. And once you point your phone towards the sky, you will see exactly what's above you. You can also turn on your camera to map your surrounding with the stars that you are seeing. You can see planets, asteroids, comets, stars, constellations all in real time. 
You can also learn more about each thing you see, its description, its physical properties and also a 3D view of it. So the next app here is Pocket Sense. Pocket Sense is built to keep your phone safe from thieves and there are three main options. Pocket Sense Mode, Char Sense Mode and Motion Sense Mode. So with Pocket Sense Mode enabled, if your phone is taken out from your pocket and if it's not unlocked within a set time interval, an alarm will ring. Same goes for Charge Sense Mode. If the phone is unplugged and if it's not unlocked, it will start the alarm. I know that this can be annoying, but at the same time it can be a life-saving feature. I suggest enabling these feature when you are out in the public, just to be safe. The next app here is Privacy Screen Guard. It was originally introduced in Blackberry phones and this application makes only a certain part of screen visible to protect it from anyone who is peeking on you. So if you are messaging someone, you can hide older messages and only keep the portion where you are typing. And the way this app works is very simple. Once you open this app, a filter will pop up. And then the screen will only have a certain area visible and everything else will be blacked out. You can change the size and the shape of the visible area and also change the transparency of the things that are blacked out. Overall, I think it's a really good app, does what it's meant to do. So that's all about this video guys, hope you liked it, if you know of any other great cool apps just comment down below, it will help me for my future videos. So that's it guys, subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching, have a great day.